Okay, Paul, if you go back to last August, it was the story that gripped the entire nation. The arrest, the incarceration of Pat Hickey of the Olympic Council of Ireland. Uh, We haven't heard from him since. We haven't heard Mm. his side of the story. Until now, you've got the scoop. News Talk Breakfast have got the scoop. Yeah, he's decided to break his, his silence for the first time. And he talks in a wide range in interview. He talks about the events leading up to his arrest, what has happened since, um, the effect and the trauma it has caused him and his family, and how at the age of 72, as he says himself, he's a man who has an impeccable record. He has never been in trouble with the law before. And now here he is at 72, vindicating, or trying to vindicate his good name. So it, it, it's quite an extensive uh, interview, all right, yeah. This story has been rarely out of the headlines over the past year. As recently as last week, a story emerging, the OCI suggesting that Pat Hickey uh, and what had happened in Brazil had cost them a huge amount of money. Did you ask him, ask him specifically I, about I specifically that? asked him about the claims by the Olympic Council of Ireland that his arrest effectively cost him £1.5 million and put them into the red. Well, my reaction to that is that that is not correct. So there is full insurance cover at the moment for my costs. And the impression the media give is that I was the sole cause of this spend of 1.5 million. I've been able to establish that um, after I was arrested in Rio, uh, the executive committee created a crisis management committee, which consisted of three people. And they had powers of expenditure. The 1.5 million was done without my knowledge. I know nothing about it. This was done by the Crisis Management Committee. It's just that the media gave the wrong impression that I was the cost, cause of that cost. Okay, fascinating stuff, Paul. Mm. Lots more of that to come. The full interview, the first interview Pat Hickey has done since his arrest and incarceration last August. Coming up with Paul Williams, News Talk Breakfast in the morning from 7 o'clock. <laughs>